everybody, Joe Mel here and Jake Daniels, Regional Sales Manager. We got the all new Delta 252 RL. Jake, what are some of the specs that our audience needs to know? This 252 RL is under 30 feet long. In fact, it's actually 29 feet 11 from tip to tail. Uh, you're also gonna find the dry weight clocking in right about 6,500 pounds, which is also very user friendly for a hitch weight of right about 630. Nice, all right. So where do you wanna take our audience first? Do you wanna go inside or do you wanna start on the exterior? I'm sure everyone wants to see the uh, floor plan layout itself. Let's go ahead and uh, go on the inside and we'll, we'll start there. All right, come on. All right, Jake, now we're in the interior of the Delta 252 RL. Right when you walk in, you got this awesome dinette here. Explain what's going on in the rear of the trailer. Yeah, you're 100% correct. So right when you walk in, you have a 42 inch dinette, this size. And again, I'm gonna bring it up a lot throughout this walkthrough, but don't forget this thing is still under 30 feet. So everything we've been able to pack in here um, is incredible because even if uh, you have a dinette, sometimes it's uh, significantly smaller. So being able to integrate a full 42 inch dinette back here with uh, plenty of uh, large windows, uh, perfect space for four full size adults to sit here. Yeah, and enjoy that meal. And then right next to the dinette, very unique for this floor plan. I've yeah. never seen it done in the industry yet. You got a massive pantry. Typically the pantry is located elsewhere. Uh, and whenever there is a pantry and a floor plan like this, it's significantly smaller. So integrating the nice depth, but also 16 inches wide with a real door, uh, just gives you so much more uh, pantry storage. Plus we have the motion sensing LED light. Uh, of course, once as soon as you open the door, it's going to turn on, and then we have uh, that power outlet as well. So you can you can plug, you charge your vacuums or anything like that that you'd want to put oh, in yeah. the pantry. And of course, the theme these days, everyone has to hide their their air fryer, their Keurig. So we just want to give the people what they want. Yeah, love it. Um, and then above, you got some storage up here, so you got yep. some easy access for some plates, maybe. Yeah, and, then, and I thought that was a nice touch too, with us having the uh, LED backlighting, like you see, like our 292 RL. Yes, um, that's gone over fantastically. So we're we're happy to integrate that on this floor plan. Nice. And does this booth dinette convert into a bed? Oh yeah. All right. So yep. you can sleep at least one person on this bed, maybe mm -hmm. two kids if you got some grandkids. Right. Love right. it. All right. Where do we want to take? Where do we want to go next? Let's move on to the entertainment area. Love it. All right. So this is the ultimate entertainment space. You got large atrium windows that do fully open and they let in a ton of natural light. Oh yeah. Yeah, in fact, that's been uh, a point of our, our customer driven feature since, since day one. And uh, with the Delta product, every single floor plan we make, we're trying to maximize all of the, the daylight as well as the airflow. All right. Let's check out the awesome kitchen. So Joe, as we move over to the kitchen area here, you're gonna find a three burner gas cooktop. Just below that is an oversized pots and pans drawer. We still give you three drawers right next to that. Uh, as you move over to the kitchen sink below that, you're gonna find our built-in tip out trash can. Uh, thanks to our oversized interior height as well, which is 81 inches, that's allowed us a lot more real estate for our upper cabinetry, which by the way, those uh, cabinet doors are all soft close. Next to that on the other side here is our 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. You guys put a ton of thought into this, making it just optimal for camping. I know when I've gone camping, finding a spot for your trash can is really frustrating. Yeah, and it's one of the first things you, you look for when, when you arrive. Yes. Okay, where am I gonna put the trash? Yeah, and I have dogs that I take camping with me, and usually I have to tie it outside, or put it outside, or find a hiding spot Everyone for Everyone sticks it. on the back ladder. Yes, so having it built in right here is highly convenient, and I camped yeah. in a Delta, so it was just, incredibly functional right so additionally you know you guys got tons of storage up here soft closed cabinet this is not glass it's plexi mm -hmm. um and then i see that you guys have even more hidden storage behind that tv right so what we didn't want to do is have the television kind of countersunk closer to the sidewall here uh bringing it out it does two things one it, uh, it brings it a much better for the flow of the floor plan but being able to have that hidden storage back there is just another thing that we do to maximize whatever else you need to put back there. Yeah, I know. I put my Nintendo Switch back there for the kids. Oh, yeah. It Smart. It worked out really well. Smart. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, why don't we go check out the bathroom and then we'll lead into the bedroom. So, Joe, in the bathroom here, you're going to find an extra large stainless steel sink. That's something I can attest to uh, with how many times it's been mentioned to being such an appreciated feature that we have with the Delta brand. In the bathroom as well, you're gonna find your 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater controls. Right above that sink is a vanity. And on the other side of the bathroom, you'll find your porcelain foot flush toilet and the shower.
The first thing I want to point out in the bedroom area, Joe, is the fact that we integrated a, a second entry door in a sub 30 foot travel trailer. Uh, we also are including a 60 by 80 true queen bed. On each side of the bed, you are going to find the ability to either uh, have a shelf or hang your clothes. And that's actually something throughout the development of the brand was quite the debate. Uh, and then you also have epoxy poured countertops with hidden storage below and power outlets as well as USB chargers. Also, one of the things about the Delta floor plan that I know that I like to show off is you lift that bed up and there's tons of storage underneath there. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up, Joe, because another thing that we do that is uh, quite, quite a good upgrade is we understand that there's not one size fits all when it comes to mattress selections. So our struts that hold that mattress up are actually rated for much more than the mattress we give you. Over time, if you decide to make an upgrade or a mattress topper or your own mattress, it could be significantly thicker significantly heavier, but we don't want to take away the ease of, of use when you need to lift that mattress up. That's very smart. So Joe, now that we're back in the uh, rear section of this 252 RL, it's super easy to point out some of these customer driven features that we've again been doing since day one. Uh, you are going to find, you're still going to find your plumbing shutoff valves at every location, zero carpet throughout, flush floor slides, Deltas, every floor plan we make has that extra three inches of interior height as well that gives you uh, larger windows, like we mentioned, but also taller slide outs. Uh, another point to mention in the, the ceiling here is the fact that we have standard two air conditioners. Both those air conditioners, by the way, will also run off of a 30 amp service. Just greatly increases the camping options that your customer may need. Uh, also, you're gonna find the surround sound system for the, the Bluetooth is mounted in the ceiling that will wirelessly connect to the television as well. So you can bump your tunes wherever you're at. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah those yeah, are man. all great, amazing features. But now I know people that are dedicated to this floor plan and they're really interested in it, they wanna know what's going on, on the outside. Why yeah. don't we take them out there? Let's go. All right. All right, so now that we're on the off camp side here of the Delta, there's a lot going on here. Jake, what is everything that they're gonna see on this side of the convenience center? So the idea behind this convenience center is actually a scaled down version of what you're gonna find, for example, in our avenues. Uh, the best point of it, of course, is the fact that, like I mentioned a second ago, the hole in the floor allows you to still shut and lock this door all without interrupting any of those connections. Uh, we do have a number of, of industry leading features, one of which is, is my personal favorite. Think about getting to a campsite at nine o'clock at night, right? Especially if you're solo. How do you know where that tree is or where that pole is when you're trying to extend those slide outs? So just like the awning, we added a three-way switch on this off door side, gives you 100% visibility to be able to uh, open or close the, that slide out. Uh, also in the control panel here, you're gonna find a prep for a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, and another key feature is the fact that we actually have three outdoor spray ports. Typically you're gonna find water access on the outdoor of a, of, of a travel trailer, right? On pretty much everything. What you're not gonna find is the number of spray ports we have. Also the fact that they're hot and cold. Yeah. So this is tied directly into that 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. All you do is you set the temperature you want, hook the hose up to eat any location. Your kids just got back from the beach. You gotta spray the dog off. We don't need them making the inside of the camper dirty, dirty. right? No, absolutely not. So you can clean them off right there uh, and all with hot water instead yeah. of making them freeze. Unless you want to be a mean dad and <laughs> spray them with cold yeah, water just yeah. to give them that little jolt of energy. <laughs> yep. Another point to, to mention is the fact that our charge controller for the solar package, but also the water pump is in that, that black panel you see here. We countersunk that part of the, the storage area so that those components don't impede on the storage space, but also it's extremely easy to get to. Now, right next to that water pump is the 40 amp charge controller that's part of our standard Delta solar package that also includes a 200 watt roof mounted panel. And of course, if that uh, component needs to be replaced in a, in a matter of time, yeah. um, it's, it's very simple to get that done. Yeah, speaking of winterization, before we head into the next segment, I got to talk about all the owner empowerment videos that we do. Yeah. So if you guys do choose to join the Alliance and you buy a Delta or an Avenue or Paradigm or Valor, we have a whole series on YouTube and our website dedicated to training you guys on how to properly use these RVs. So with that said, why don't we head back over to the campsite and talk about some construction features? Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, see you guys there. All right, Jake, now let's talk construction. How is the Delta built? 
So since day one with Alliance RV, we've been laser focused on uh, building a quality product, but also using quality components. So scaling that down from our paradigm all the way down to the, into the Delta, you're gonna find a number of those exact same components that we've been using, just obviously in a smaller scale. So yeah. um, the use of composite materials uh, is a, a major benefit to the lo uh, longevity of the camper, but also we can save a lot of weight and increase some um, uh, insulation benefits. So you're gonna find an Asdell composite material on the outside on the interior walls, and that goes for the rear wall as well. Um, and our slide outs, those are all made with composites. We're also, um, of course, aluminum framing everything like the baggage doors in the windows. Up top, you have a fully walkable roof, which we cover that with a PVC membrane. The PVC membrane is fantastic. It's got uh, a lifetime warranty, zero maintenance. Uh, one of my favorite parts about it is the fact that it's 100% repairable. Yeah. So if you had it for a year, year and a half, if you caught a branch, you don't have to worry about the extra cost of just replacing an entire roof. Just go buy a PVC repair kit and you get the job done yourself. Yeah, you can buy that pretty much any big box store. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of pool stores have that too. They, they have it right there on the shelf. Diving back into the to the composite materials yeah. here. So the your, your, your both sides of the wall, the rear wall, and in the floor, right? Mm -hmm. So now you have a lighter than wood product. It's stronger than wood, has a longer life than it. It does, is it insulated better? Yeah, much better insulation. So you have pretty much a 360 degree benefit by every single measure. Uh, not only on the fact that we're using the Asdell composite material, but just the sheer amount of it that we're using. Yeah, and from my understanding of the Asdell product is it's rot mold and mildew resistant mm -hmm. as well. Yes, so sir. if water were to penetrate the wall somehow, it's really not gonna you cause You don't have to harm. worry about anything. Absolutely. Yeah, it really, if, if there's water intrusion on the on the interior, you basically just wipe the water up and you can move on about your I life. I love it. All right, where do you wanna take the audience next about the exterior of this Delta 252? Let's focus on some of the running gear enhancements. So we have a number of uh, great upgrades to the running gear, Joe, uh, a few of which are the fact that we're using standard Goodyear endurance tires. And I know it's not often talked about in the industry in terms of running gear, but let's face it, that's, that's the full foundation of the, the product. Having that peace of mind in your travels going down the road, an eight hour drive, a half hour drive, whatever it would be, uh, we're certainly happy to be using these Goodyear endurance tires, which by the way, still has that tire pressure monitoring system prep. Uh, but of course, our leaf spring suspensions, we're also using the welded V-bracket spring hangers that typically is one of the very first things to fail over time. So we're doing that from day one. On the underbelly, you are gonna find a fully covered underbelly as well as uh, 12 volt tank heaters on every single tank. Love it, that's awesome. Let's take a step back to the rear of the coach, Jake, and talk about what's going on back here. Okay. All right, so now the rear wall of the Delta, there's a lot of key features that you're gonna find across the board on the Delta line. What are yeah. those? So it's funny that you mentioned that, not only on the rear wall, but it feels like every corner that we look at where the Delta line, there's like something for us to, to talk about, yeah. right? Uh, now, specifically on the back, you are gonna find a two inch hitch receiver. Uh, as well as up top, the small dot that you see on, on every brand that we make. That's your 12 volt universal backup camera prep. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the oversized rear ladder. Now, yeah. the point for this, wasn't just so we could have an upgraded weight rating, right? The point for it was so that you could hang a full-size beach towel, yeah. right? Because your third outdoor spray port with hot water is right out back. Yeah. So this is where you're typically gonna end up spraying off your care to your dog or, or whatever, right? Yeah. So you just get that done, now you hang your beach towels. Yeah, so it makes it really convenient, making camping easy. And then it also eliminates the fact that you might have to hang like a string to a tree, Yeah. right? And it's, it's not that flimsy aluminum ladder, it's a nice steel ladder, oh, yeah. it feels really yeah. good. Being a bigger guy, I <laughs> love having a steel ladder. Well that and of course the bottom step is much easier to get to than what you've, we've historically found in the industry. Yeah, I love that. All right, why don't we show them what's, on the, what's left on this camper Sure. and then we'll let these awesome folks go. All right, now we're at my favorite part of the camper where you cook. Yep, yep. So let's talk a little bit about this awesome cooktop we got going on outside here. Yeah, so the 252 RL is predominantly a couple's coach, right? Yeah. Now, outdoor kitchens are extremely common in the industry, but typically you find them on bunk houses because that lower bunk, the exterior is, provides the real estate for, for an outdoor kitchen or a cooktop or, or all that. Now, when you move into the couple's coach world, your uh, options for that square footage that you need, 
it just significantly gets uh, much lower. So I thought it was a genius idea for us to be able to integrate yeah. this 25 inch uh, griddle and grill combo yeah. right here uh, on the, the back of the unit, which is also still underneath an 18 foot awning, which gives you ample uh, campsite coverage. Yeah. So you got tons of camp space over there. You got this huge 18 foot awning, so you can still camp even if it's a little bit wet outside. Yeah, yeah and still Love camp that. and still cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner right here without having to go to the parts store and buy a bunch of extra stuff. We're Love giving it. this, yeah, right from right out of the box. That's so smart. All right, well, why don't we wrap it up? Let's take them back to the front of the trailer. Cool. So from the front to the back, the inside, the outside, the roof, the underbelly suspension, uh, we certainly covered a lot on the, the Delta 252 here. Now, if there's any questions or input or, uh, or other resources that you're looking for out there, uh, not limited to just this, but the rest of our brands or our floor plans, you can head straight over to AllianceRV.com. Joe, where else can they find us? Absolutely, through social media, any platform that you're active with, go search at Alliance RV and you're sure to find us. Everybody, that was the Delta 252. This is Joe. Jake Daniels. And we're signing off. Thanks guys. All right, Jake, how is this Delta built? I'm, I'm glad you asked. Now, uh, in this, the temperature, uh, sorry, that was, that was good, but <laughs> hey, I thought you'd never have. I was going to say, oh, that's the point. All right, let's hit on some of the last features that we're going to find on this floor plan, and then we'll wrap it up. Yep, sounds good. All right, now we're at my favorite part of the camper, where you cook. Yep. Yep. Now, Joe, where else can they oh, find okay. us? Can oh, they find okay. Us? Joe, that sums it up for just about everything that we need to. Yeah. Was, <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yep. <laughs> Go to the search at Alliance RV, and you're sure to find us. <laughs> How do we sign off? I, okay, so I didn't know I was going to be just ending, ending. Okay. That was pretty good, really, until the end where it's like, who's saying goodbye? <laughs>